Hey guys, it's Ashley Bales. Um, we have been attending Crosspoint now for just about a year. And I'm so, so grateful for all the people that we've come into contact with here and everybody who's become not just friends, but family. I was not always a good person. I'm not, wasn't always the person that you see on Sunday morning who is ready to talk to you and love you and to do anything for you and that and I would I'm I love to volunteer here I love to be around the people here and so does Jack um, like I said I wasn't always a great person I was a rowdy person I was drinking I was partying I was with people who were on drugs heavily and it was a continuously downward downward spiraling path it's really kind of a hard pill to swallow that I was ever in that kind of lifestyle I had a baby who you would think would be the one to turn everything around because now I've got another person to live for and for the most part she did I quit partying I quit drinking because Nobody wants to hang out with the kid that's got the kid, but I just didn't change the friend group. It was still kind of the same people, just on a smaller scale. So much of that was I just needed to feel loved. I needed to feel like I belonged somewhere, even if it wasn't necessarily in a good place. Here I am, single, with a baby, and I'm starting to wonder if, you know, what, what, what am I going to do now? I said, I'm alone. I've got a baby. I need somebody. I, I, need a, I need that other person to help take care of us. And I thought I found that. I was in a really bad relationship with him. There was quite a bit of violence um, that eventually led me to actually having to press charges and have him arrested and physically removed by police from our lives. I started going to a church that was up the street. It was about the only place that I was kind of allowed to go. So I was attending this church and I was learning anything that I could about developing a relationship with God. All the while at home, I was still going through this situation with a boyfriend who was violent, you know, they always told me, you know, we'll pray for you. If you need help getting out and getting out of the situation you're in, we will come and help you. We will do anything we can. You you don't know what you're going to do in that situation until you're in it. It's easy to say, oh, I'd have left. It's, it's always, not always that simple. But it became almost a life or death situation at one point when I found out I was pregnant again. So now not only am I trying to fight and keep myself alive, I'm trying to keep myself and a baby alive. And I was like, you know, God, please tell me what to do. He kind of came, came in kind of like a wrecking ball in the form of my mom one day called me and said, listen, I know what's going on. And you have a choice. You leave the situation on your own and we'll help you out or we're going to take your kids. As crazy as it sounded like that was God's way of telling me like this is your out. So I took it. I left. I came back home. The church that I continued to go to after that was really good but it was so close to him that I felt like it just wasn't the right fit anymore. So I moved and I went to a new church. The pastor and his wife take me into an office and say, while we appreciate that you're here, we don't think that your attendance here is going to be very good for our kids. <laughs> because I was unmarried with two kids. So I think that that really put a damper on that relationship that I had with God. Because why would, why would God take me out of this situation 
and allow me to move forward just to put me in a place where I get kicked out. Then I met, well, I didn't meet, um, got together with my husband who I had been friends with for a long time. Like, I'm married, I have a great husband, I have kids, I'm still not fulfilled. I told my husband one day, I said, you know what, I'd really, really like to take the kids to church. This last year, I've had the opportunity to volunteer in the children's church. I've, I've gotten to see how God's working in the kids. I've gotten to reflect on my own at home now and build this relationship with God that over the last year that I've never had before. It makes me so happy to know that at the end of the day, God loves me. He loves my kids. It doesn't matter what I've done. He accepts me no matter what. When everything feels like it's going wrong, that's the one thing that we have that's going right. And when we sit down at dinner, even if we have had the worst day ever, we sit down at dinner and our three-year-old says, it's time to say the blessing. Seeing them grow up in it now, even though it's only been a year, to see what has moved in my kids. If everything was stripped away from me tomorrow, I still have somebody who I can fall back on. That has been the most incredible feeling. And I can't even begin to sort of kind of describe the happiness that that puts in my life. God put me through, not necessarily put me through, but brought me through everything that I went through to do what I do now. At the end of the day, God's going to love you no matter what. And He wants what's best for you. And to, you got to take any of those situations and turn them around and create something that allows you to use your relationship with God as a platform. God will help you just like He did with me.